What's going on guys, PXCam20 back in with a brand new video. We are here at my home track of WeatherTech Laguna Seca and I do have to tell you guys I was wrong about this. I was expecting this race to be a bore and just be nose to tail line racing but boy was I wrong. This is, has been one of the best daily races of the week and uh, I've been having a lot of fun running around here especially with the front wheel drive cars and I know i said this multiple times some tracks do do well with these front wheel driving cars and WeatherTech Laguna Seca fortunately has been one of those tracks to uh, run around with these cars so in our Audi TT some other cars picked the Peugeot RCZ I thought this was the better car we're gonna see what we can do here for these two races as the first race was a pretty you know normal uh, fashionable race but the second one just all hell broke loose and we just had a lot of fun on that one so before we jump into it if you guys really enjoy the content please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the videos it really helps out the channel when you guys do so anyways that is enough promoting myself let's jump straight into these races jumping into our first race now we get our 3-2-1 as we are starting in second place following right behind the first place driver we're going to try to get into the slipstream and utilize that get as close as we can to him going into turn number one as we head into turn one break as late as we can and we're able to clip our first apex wall clip our second apex wall as first place goes a little bit wide off of turn number two heading into trouble turn number three not sure why but i struggle on this turn so many times as you can see we struggle once again as we miss our apex and we allow third place to get very very close to us on the rear as we head into the fast sweeping fourth corner Coming off the corner, we're shifting onto the left hand side as we're trying to defend our position. He's all over our rear bumper, but we have to give up the position now as he was just too good down that straight and uh, was able to make the easy overtake on the inside as we relinquish the position now. Shift our way from second into third now as we head into the fast left hander. So, on the final part of lap number one, we're just following to RCZ here going into the final corner and uh, taking a little peek onto the inside to get very close to his rear bumper. Or rear bumper and we were unfortunately able to not get the uh, pass completed because we're just too far back so we're just going to have to wait patiently during this race and see if we can find another overtaking zone and try to make the overtake on second place now as we uh, get again closest back bumper but not close enough to make a pass so we're just going to follow him here shifting our way into the right hander of turn number three we clip a little bit of the sausage curve pushes us a little bit wide but I think 4th place did the exact same thing as we were able to kind of get away from him now as we head into the middle part of lap number 2. Once again going into the course screw here. 2nd place just opens the door a little bit as he takes a very wide entrance into the course screw. But just too far back again to do anything about that. And 1st place actually makes a little bit of a mistake as 2nd place is able to get right up to his rear bumper here. So because of that mistake now second place has a good opportunity to try to make an overtake onto the final corner he takes advantage of that goes side by side with first place they make contact and he actually pushes them out and we're able to get an easy overtake because of that as we head into the replay you can see the rcz tries to break as late as he can makes contact with him just forces them out wide off of the corner and first place goes from first all the way back into fifth and sixth and we are now promoted into second place as we are right behind the first place driver and uh, kind of showing him the thing that he had to do with us here as we are breaking as late as we can. The RCZ breaks later as well, but we are still right behind his back bumper so we're trying to put some pressure on him, see if we can force him into a mistake. But unfortunately, it looks like that's not going to happen here as we head into turn number three now, coming off of there and heading into the middle part of lap number three. So uh, we're able to get a blue sector right there, so we're burning pretty fast, but uh, which is don't have any space right here on these straights compared to the RCZ as it does have a better straight line speed but this is where we can get him right here on these uh, slow and mid uh, speed corners as you can see once again we are Oliver's rear bumper trying to push him into a mistake once again we almost got a little bit wide there and almost forced ourselves into a mistake but uh, coming out of that right hander uh, once again the RCZ just showing his muscle and is able to just pull away from us now as he goes into the final corner very very narrow gets a really bad exit because of that and we're gonna utilize the uh, slipstream right here stay right behind him see if we can stay right behind him going into turn number one taking the peak onto the inside we're gonna break as late as we can but again the RCZ is just able to outbreak us and uh, we both miss our second apex there off of the first uh, hairpin 
And uh, we have to settle right behind him here as we lose about two tenths of a second off of that second place or second corner there as we get a little bit loose coming off the turn number three. So on the final lap now, heading to the course group for the final time. Can we do anything here as we are in the uh, optimal spot to make some time up as this is where our uh, car is the strongest at? See, we're gaining a little bit of time on him now as we head into the final two corners, but we're just going to run out of time here as the RCZ is going to cover the inside. Doesn't have to really worry about us too much unless we try to make the most optimistic lunge ever. And uh, again, coming out of the final corner, we're just going to have to settle for the second place spot. Stay right behind him on the slipstream. Cross the start finish line. And at least we get a fastest lap for the race. But again, we get second place. Really wanted that win. Just couldn't find the place to make the overtake to get the win. So let's see if we can get this dub on the second race. Jumping to our second race now, we are starting in third place right behind the Argentinian and the American. Can we do anything here to try to get the win since we are in a pretty good spot? Getting our 3-2-1, getting our start, immediately getting into the slipstream of the Argentinian right ahead of us. We're going to utilize that as much as we can and uh, see if we can take a little peek onto the inside on turn number one. But just too far back here as us and the Argentinian break very, very late. We're able to get a woe down to hit our apexes as we now head into turn number three. So I've been having a lot of trouble going to turn number three. And you can see we do run into some trouble right there as we go a little bit wide, clip the dirt, and somehow we were able to save it. But it is going to cost us some time as the uh, third place and fourth place driver are able to make an easy overtake on the inside of us. And we are now getting pressured by the Canadian, and he makes an easy overtake on us as well. So we lose three positions because of that costly mistake. And we are now right behind the Pepsi Audi TT and uh, going into the middle part of lot number one. So shifting away to the inside, just kind of showing him that we're there. See if we can force him into a mistake. Uh, Four place goes very, very narrow into that corner. And I'm pretty shocked that he did not lose it coming out of that corner. And uh, he was able to hold off his fourth place. But as we now head into the course, we get hit from behind. Almost missed our breaking point right there because of that bump. And somehow we were able to get it woe down, but we do lose a lot of time to the Canadian off of the corner just because of the uh, little bump that we got from behind. And uh, we have to now just settle, just running back in line with these guys and see if we can try to make up some time here now as we head into the final corner. So heading into the final corner, stand right behind these guys. They bunch up really, really quick as we have to uh, break very early so we avoid making contact with the Canadian. We are demoted back into fifth place as we have a pretty marginal gap to sixth place. So. Uh, we don't have to worry about the car behind us. We just have to worry about what's going on ahead of us. And oh boy, is there a lot of stuff going on ahead of us. As the second and third are now starting to fight with each other. I believe the Argentinian actually got lagged out as uh, we are promoted into fifth place here. So an easy, easy fifth place that we were able to get here because of that lag. So thank you, GT Sport. Um, you can see the Red Bull gets a little bit wide coming to third place. And you can see now that we're going to try to make a move on to the inside. Going three wide down the straight. The Red Bull car pushes us down. We make contact with him going to the gravel. We're going to shift right ahead of him as we try to break his legs. We can't, but somehow these two are able to split us in the middle. And we get overtaken by both of them as we jump into the replay. The Persia tries to force us down, try to defend his spot. We make a little bit of contact. We shift right ahead of him. And somehow they make contact with each other and are able to overtake us so not sure exactly how they did that just the work of black magic because they just somehow got the car woe down as we break as late as we can and we actually get overtaken by the brazilians we make a little bit of contact with him heading to the left hander we have to give up the position here because two cars going to the left hander is never going to work out here as we head into the course group we get hit from behind and we make contact with the brazilian right in front of us as we make even more contact coming out of the course group we almost lose it there we get a one second penalty get an undeserving one second penalty after getting hit from behind and accidentally making contact with the Brazilian right ahead of us oh my god thank you GT Sport I guess but we're gonna have to serve our penalty here we have a car right behind us but luckily for us the car ahead of us has a penalty the car behind us has a penalty and the car behind that car has a penalty so all of us have to serve our penalty in the penalty zone and we fortunately do not lose a position because of that as uh, there was like five or six drivers that got penalties on that lap. So uh, going into the final lap now, after all that action and all that craziness, we were trying to catch up to these cars right ahead of us. And we unfortunately, we just could not close the gap to fourth place. And uh, you can see the result right here now as we come into the final corner. Just too far back. We're going to finish this race in fifth place. 
as uh, we're going to cross the start finish line here now get a 127.8 for our final lap and uh, I guess we'll take it after that huge mistake going into uh, turn number three it costed us three positions and then all that craziness that happened on lap number two or three uh, almost costed us even more positions there but again we just got very lucky that everybody else got into the same predicament as us and we were able to hold them off for a fifth place position here at um, Weather Tech Laguna Seca so like I said, these races could get very, very intense and very crazy really quick just because we only have five laps around here. So uh, don't count this one out. I thought this one was going to be a bore this week, but it actually has led to some of the funnest races that I've had of the week. Um, and also, Daily Race has had some really fun, exciting moments as well. But with this one, I feel like it's a lot more fast impact than the Daily Race C. So that's why I've been actually favoring this one a lot more. So let me know how you guys have been doing down in the comments down below if you guys have been having fun around here. If you guys just have been having really bad luck as well, because I can also see how that can happen around here. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys really enjoy the video, again, please subscribe and leave a like on the video as it really helps out the channel when you guys do so. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you guys would like to know more updates about videos and upcoming streams and if you guys enjoyed the video I hope to see you guys on the next one peace out